With real estate sales spiking in southern Wisconsin, housing starts are climbing to meet the need. But a shortage of available housing is being met with another show, shortfall, skilled labor to build them. As Dave Delosier tells us, that means students in trade schools are finding a hot job market waiting for them. Yeah, this is the way the industry is moving. Uh, and John Stefani would know he's been in the trades for nearly 30 years. He's seen much. A lot of change. I've seen booms, I've seen busts. And there is no mistaking where we are now. We're in the middle of a huge boom. Um, without any doubt at all, the trades are desperate. Which is why students in the trades program at Madison College are in the right place at the right time. Framers. A lot of construction jobs, they're making a lot of money now. As the starting wages in the trades are 15 to 17 plus dollars an hour. After five years, you can be making $25 an hour. And after seven to 10 years, you can be making 30 plus dollars an hour. Good money, and with a shortage of skilled workers, finding a job is not a problem. Employers are calling us, emailing us, almost on a daily basis, looking for workers, looking for people. And not just, not just carpentry, plumbers, electricians, HVAC, steel workers, the trades are desperate. Which is a good thing if you're one of these students. About the last three years, our students who were graduating in May, uh, those who were ready to, to go to work, they all had jobs lined up before they left. And while earning a good wage is important for students like Clayton Aker, there is another gratification in doing this job. After you build something, you look at it, it's beautiful. You're, you're proud of what you've done. All right. So Which will let them build a future. The sky's the limit. There is an excellent living to be had in the trades. At Madison College, this is Dave DeLosier, WISC News 3. Now, in this case... To address the shortage of skilled trades workers, some construction companies are hiring unskilled workers and putting them into apprentice programs. Other construction companies are partnering with high schools to offer home building training.